G'day. We get to hear lots of ripper stories on the Bush Telegraph. But the folks up here in northern Victoria at a little spot called Stinking Goat Corner reckon that we had to feast our eyes on this one. It's a story about a couple named Eddie and Eileen Doyle. Old farmers who in 45 years of marriage had never really been anywhere. But at last they went on the great Aussie adventure. But it was a trip with a difference. <laughs> Eddie's lived all of his 73 years at Stinkin' Goat Corner, which got its name after a goat fell down a well a hundred years ago. But he might up and ring me up and make me an offer on that. And for just about every day of those 73 years, Eddie's driven tractors. He's mad about tractors, especially this 1938 Lands Bulldog. Matches. Just to fire up the bulldog, Eddie has to heat her with a blowtorch, then get her rockin', smoking, hissing and humping. And that's when they reckoned you were mad. And they saw you put the steering wheel in the crankshaft. The bulldog oh, was a rusty old heap of junk in his farmyard. But for the last ten years, Eddie's been bringing her back to life. So when he finally finished the restoration, Eddie thought he and Eileen deserved a holiday with the bulldog. Whose idea was it? To go, mine. And, uh, What did you think about the idea? She thought I'd gone senile when I first mentioned it, but then she reckoned I'd... Well, I, then I thought, well, if I didn't go with him, he wouldn't go. But she didn't know that I might have. <laughs> Their trip to Long Reach and Return was four and a half thousand kilometres, and their send-off drew a crowd larger than any wedding or funeral in the district for 20 years. The locals reckoned it was such a hoot that they erected a signpost at Stinkin' Goat Corner saying 2,000 to Longreach. Oh yes, a lot of them reckoned he was silly, especially those said Eileen was silly for going with him. But then someone said she was silly when she married him in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you do it? Well, I'd been driving a tractor for at least 45 years, round and round. And I reckon after 45 years, I thought, well, where's it got me? It didn't got me far, it kept me alive. And I decided I'd like to put one on the road and go straight for a change. I sort of looked on this, this trip thing as, it was probably something I didn't really know that I wanted to do it, but when I'd done it, now I realised that's what I was wanting to do all my life, something like that. I got a great um, fascination of wide country. Through fair weather and foul, they motored at 30 kilometres an hour for seven or eight hours a day, causing quite a kerfuffle through each town. And what would you talk about along the way? Nothing. We couldn't hear. We had earplugs. We were pointing. Just... Sign language. We'd say, well, that's why we never had any arguments. Couldn't hear one another. <laughs> We'd save the talk for the night. You couldn't hear each other? No. You could hear it. I'd so get a dig in the ribs if I was getting a bit over to the white line. I'd get this in the ribs. <laughs> straighten up again. So what if you saw some sparkling side yeah. on the side of the road? <laughs> what about if it was on the other side? <laughs> and that was it? That was it, yeah. That's a hell of a holiday, yeah. Eddie. <laughs> The Doyles returned to Stinkin' Goat Corner as famous as a couple of early explorers. But it's a terrific thing he did, that's the same, because you can make a hundred at cricket and kick a few goals at football and they'll forget about you in 12 months' time, but we'll be talking about Ed for another 20 years. So, Eddie, when are you going again? We haven't done uh, anything yet. Might do a short one next year, you know, say, a thousand k's. I really wouldn't mind going to Perth, but oh, it's a long range. Eddie and Eileen are Australia's only tractor caravanners, but there are 350,000 Aussies who own caravans. More than 15,000 are doing the Round Australia trek, with the average trip between six months and two glorious years.